Hey everybody. So today we have received some of the worst news that we were hoping not to get, but it has come in. And that is that the body and remains of Gannon Stauk have been found. Now a couple of things have taken place today. First of all, human remains were found in Florida. The El Paso County Sheriff says that they were contacted by the Santa Rosa County Sheriff's Office in Florida. They had responded to a call about a deceased juvenile. The remains were found near Escambia River Bridge. A road crew was working and stumbled across them. An autopsy was performed and these have been identified at the time of this recording as Gannon Stauk. Now the authorities are asking for anybody that potentially saw Tisha Stauk in that area of Florida on February 3rd to the 5th, somewhere in that zone to contact them. The phone number is 719-520-6666. I can also drop that in the description below. Now they did a press conference this afternoon. Now, as you know, there's a gag order on this. So they're not saying too much to compromise it, but just a little bit of information that they gave us, which was more than I was anticipating gave us a grim idea of what took place with Gannon. They have tacked on new charges to Tisha, thank God. Murder in the first degree with intent and deliberation. There's also eight charges of crime of violence. Now these range from the utilization of a blunt force object, the utilization of a knife or a sharp object, as well as a firearm. So that right there tells us the things that they're finding during the autopsy, which is just absolutely horrible and appalling. Now, it does sound like they believe that he was killed in Colorado and transported to Florida. Obviously, this brings up tons of questions. Did she act alone? Did she sneak off with a rental car? You know, how exactly did she pull this off and exactly when? Now, like I said before, the cops are looking for people who might have seen her between like the 3rd and the 8th, or the 3rd and the 5th, I'm sorry, of February. So these little details fill in some of the blanks for us, but still, there's a lot unanswered at this point. But right now, at the end of the day, finding out that this has happened to him in this way the brutality in which she seems to have killed poor little Gannon is just unspeakable so we're gonna stay tuned for more we're gonna see what else we find out we're gonna be following this here obviously this is one of the more heinous crimes and it's a sad thing to say because a lot of heinous stuff has gone on just this year alone but this one is right on up there looking back at the interviews that she gave in the condescending way that she came across the entitlement to the idea that she was not guilty absolutely astounds me now to hear of the gruesome way that this poor boy was tortured and died so anyways that's it don't forget to look in the description if you happen to have been in florida in early february you know think back where you're in any of these areas that this could have taken place and i'll put the links in the description that where you can contact if you do have any further information i hope everybody is doing okay out there with the coronavirus i hope you're safe and healthy and staying inside and i'll talk to you soon